Kirby's back. He's got a brand new outline. Picking up some old friends. And together, they return to Dreamland. Deluxe. Um, sure. About the blondie blade, that's that's an interesting. Never mind. Don't connect for now. My plan is the main game here. By the way, did you know that Kirby's got other games on the Switch and then on the 3DS that you can't really buy anymore, and the one thing on the Wii U? There we go, now I can show the cutscene proper. That rainbow looks like it would be perfect for a Mario Kart game. And the little loop. I wonder what Meta Knight reads. Oh no, the cake's all splattered. Sure, there's a lot of perfectly spherical gears that you've got there. But they're, you're dropping them all over the place. Bit of a rough landing, eh? Wow, the mic actually picked up that. I had 120 gears, and now I'm broke. And so is the ship. The ship is also broke. And... I am dismayed. But hey. Yeah. I'll point at the screen. I'll stare you in the face. Yeah, well, not along too. We're not quite sure what Kirby's going on about because he hasn't said a word. They all conveniently dropped in the five corners of the planet. Hey, you know, I guess we'll just go scour an entire planet for this random person we just met. It'll all work out fine in the end. Agalor has dropped out of the blue and landed on planet Popstar. He's ready to lend a helping hand. Helper Magalor will give you potions that double stamina and save you from falling down holes. Would you like him? No. <laughs> I've been that I've been down this road at least once before. I did not mean to jump back to the world back that quickly. But if you want to visit the ship, it's there. Our adventure begins in Cookie Country. This is also where the demo took place, of course. Makes sense they would start you on the early stages. I like a whole bathroom wall aesthetic going on here. So then, let's get into it. Anytime you can share Joy-Con or, you know, just grab other controllers. Right now, I'm by myself. Run, 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 run. 
Look, you're not wearing a bandana, therefore you must die. <laughs> no fashion sense. Kirby will not tolerate it. Your star. Now I'm a cut above the rest. Don a green hat with your sword in hand. Spin slash to a sword dive as your finishing strike. It's all about the flourish. Okay, so the jump button is also the attack button. Interesting. I think that was the case in Star Allies, too. Okay, full health you get sword beams, because, you know, Zelda reference. <laughs> you have a dash attack, a dash mid-air attack, a regular mid-air attack, a down attack. Old B... During the mid-air B attack, and then press down. Up B, down B, during the up B. Charge attack. Charge attack with up. Press and hold up, then press the button. Uh, because this was in the Skyward Sword era. And then... Underwater attacks. Oh wait, I can use A to jump. Never mind, no issue with the button. Dash over the gaps. There's a dash attack. Uppering time. Big red star. If only the cleaning ability was in this game. Alright, now... Yep, why to drop? Down through the semi-solid floors. take these guys out and roast their mushrooms before I grab the key. Because it'll be slightly easier. Well, you respawn for me in off-screen. So, can't win them all. <laughs> that was a required key anyway. Energy spheres are optional collectibles. I mean, you need a certain amount of them to progress. But you don't need all 120 to beat the game. Old suck to keep sucking. Old ability gets destroyed if you leave it alone too long. It does go up, but there's a down. All right, main gimmick. Big mode. Might even say this is a deluxe sword. Doesn't mean it doesn't make you invincible, but you get a big weapon. Well, nothing will stand in my way. There's a time limit on it, indicated by the rainbow gauge, but usually they're pretty good about giving you enough time with it. If I jump in there, something will happen, so if I want any more use out of the sword, I should do it now. Alright, time to run. We're sucking up the big stuff because it will break much more.
Usually it's just good to use the big projectiles to clear the path, but if you have something extra and there's not really anything to spit it at, you could always opt for the purple void behind you. That will actually make it back up a bit. To demonstrate. That wasn't a huge projectile, so it didn't back up much, but you can see it backing up. Choice of abilities. I'll take the sword. Been the main thing for this level. Skyward Strike. I haven't told you about the dodge yet, but do have one. And there's the last two spheres. Oh, a tomato you shouldn't have. Ah, oh, but now I don't have my deluxe sword. Belly me. Ooh, that fanfare. I feel like that fanfare wasn't there in the original. A goal minigame. Press it at the lowest point to get the most height. That could have been better, because I didn't make it up to one. Onto the bridge level. It's level two and we've already found my favorite ability in the game. Time to dance. The leaf dance creates a gorgeous swirl of razor sharp leaves. Press to guard and huh? You vanish. Leaf attack. Keep holding for leaf swirl and scatter. Dash attack. Got an up attack. A down mid-air attack. So you can hide and reveal yourself. So, smaller moveset, but... Check that out. Check out when I get hit by something while I'm guarding like this. It's so ridiculous. And you can do stuff like this. Obviously not as fast as the tornado ability that you get in some of the Kirby games, but you can just keep it going. And then when you let it go, the range increases ever so slightly as a final yeah, you know, finishing blow. And this leaf blade. I also like the down air attack. Scatter them everywhere like ninja stars. Now we fly through this scenery that we will not interact with in any way. This is all completely just for show. Not sure why they needed that transition in this level. Now the music's changed. Alright, switching things up to Cutter. Cut through ropes with the blade of a well-aimed boomerang. Aim it upward or down or hold the charge of a hyper boomerang. So, regular charge attack, dash attack, mid-air attack, down-air attack, and then your attack will change if you're near an enemy. There's the near the enemy version, and that's actually in his smash move set as his upbeat. Now there's another move set that's a bit more limited, but you get finer control over it. Like, you can arc these boomerangs. But also just the fact that it is a boomerang. Now 
How about that rope cutting thing? I said, now about that rope cutting thing. These platforms are at my mercy. Mind if I have some meat on the bone. Oh, and a little sandwich. And a drink to wash it down. Alright, first item, firework launcher. You do not have your ability to hover while you're carrying this, but you wreak havoc. need it for that energy spear. Yeah, you can break those blocks normally, so it's just a little bonus if you can grab that. That should be the first one. Yep. Stop trying to sweep away my accomplishments. Another new ability. Break your foes with a thorny jab. Really stick it to them. Roll from dashing to bring the pain with a rolling needle. You have a regular attack, a wall attack. A, uh, shake the stick attack. Dash attack and an up attack. There's my up attack. There is the stick shaking. Also do this. It didn't really need the help refill, but it was there. Hell, is that a thing? Yes, that is a secret door. Now I'm invincible! No one can touch me, I will defeat everything, you cannot defeat me at all. I got a lollipop, you are a sucker, just like the lollipop that I ate. There's a spear in the corner, let her look out for it, now they're starting to get a little tricky. Alright, I forgot to read the fire description earlier. Feel the heat of hot flame techniques. Light fuses, climb walls, fireball climb. Get fired up with the secret move Fireball Inferno. You have a regular fire breath attack if you know Bowser in Smash, his neutral B. Same idea there. You use the stick to target it. Press and hold left during the fire breath to activate Fireball Inferno. You have a dash attack, a jump attack. Yeah. Oh, you have a dash attack, and then you can jump during the dash attack, and then you can press the attack button again during the dash attack. Then air attack, down attack. Touch the ground during the down attack to do a roll. Then you can jump. Then you can... I feel like all this what? Did I just not read that back when I played on the Wii? Because it seems like a lot more moves than I remember for fire. Like this fireball inferno thing. Holding left. Is it really just saying light yourself on fire and Okay, I guess that's like the spark ability. Other option right now is beam. Lash foes with a whip like beam, dash for cycle, grab and capture, spin in midair for a revolution. Charge it up and bam! Wave beam. You have a tap attack, dash attack, mid-air dash attack, dash attack, uh, charge attack, and a grab attack. And beam is another one that I really like. Especially when you can get off a full charge attack. I 
like it charged up more in other games. The mid air dash attack is probably my favorite of the beam things. Now, general Kirby rule if they give you a mid boss, they get ability. I got the sword. If I do the correct thing with the sword, I can do that. Charge attack happened to work in that case. But fire and beam would not have stood up to that. Maybe if you still had the cutter ability from earlier in the level. All game. Ah, did a little better that time, got to the two. Oh boy, they get to tell me about Mary Magoland. It was on the main menu, but now it's actually unlocked. I've decided if I want to check that out separately, but I think the bulk of these streams are going to be focused on the main story levels. And of course the epilogue at the end, which I have not seen yet, so that'll be fun. <laughs> 